yoga one of the most ancient holistic sciences ever found in this world the whole crux of yoga lies in unison merging or balancing there are many forms of yoga but today's session what we are going to do is hatha yoga the crux of it lies in balancing your body mind and breathing why these three if you take into consideration why these three the whole concept the very name ha and ta means the breathing itself it is divided into the surya nadi chandra nadi surya nadi chandra nadi is nothing but the rise right nostril and the left nostril balancing these two brings you into synchronization once you are synchronized with your body breath and mind you are out of stress yoga means balancing once you are out of yoga means you are imbalanced imbalance means nothing but stress itself so the whole science of yoga is to bring you back to balance or bring you out of stress basic instructions for the session take a shower before the session practice the sequence twice a day keep the place of practice serene neat and tidy well ventilated and with optimum illuminations practice with empty stomach or 3 and 1/2 hours to 4 hours after intake of food please don't strain yourself for being in the posture for longer duration come out of the posture as and when you feel inconvenient initial learning process practice the asana with open eyes but as you progress and become familiar with the sequence keep the eyes closed and hold the posture to the breathing instruction given the duration of posture is counted according to the breathing that is one inhalation and exhalation makes count one as we are into the posture the breathing is expected to be natural the instruction for breathing whether to inhale or exhale is applicable only one going into the posture om sahana bhavatu sahana bunaktu sahaviryam karavavahai ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 speaking of pyk series or pranav yoga kendra series this is a combination of nearly four main asanas this is most important to have a series because this keeps you into the flow of yoga where you get connected to one moment then to the next then to the next then you come back in the whole sequence you're going to be aware of your breathing your body and your mind this is box position extend the arms in front of the body fix the heel of the palm push the shoulder down place the chin on the ground relax the perineal muscles and the shoulder take support of the elbow glide forward place the forehead on the ground keep your feet together inhale arch back take support of the elbow push the hip forward so that the weight rests on the low back just stick on to your breath stay there for at least 5 to 6 breaths and then spread the fingers wide push the ground arch back completely keep your feet together all through stay in this stage for another 5 to 6 breaths 
Come down slowly. Place the forehead on the ground. Bring the palm close to the chest. Push the ground. Take support of the knee. This is drop position. Come to Vajras and slowly drag the arm. Making a curve at the back. Open the spine inch by inch. And drop the neck to the back. Stay there for 2-3 breaths. Then come back. You can repeat this series at least 5 to 6 times. Makarasan. Makarasan or the crocodile pose. This posture is one of the basic relaxation postures in yoga. Whatever posture you do on the abdomen, you go for a relaxing posture by doing Makarasan. Place the palm one over the other, the forehead over the palm, spread the leg wide, the toes pointing outside, feel the relaxation at the abdominal region as the pressure is resting on the ground just stick on to your breath each and every breath feel the expanse of the abdomen as you breathe in and the constriction of it as you exhale keep your eyes closed stay there for 10 to 12 breaths then come back to the next posture Crocodile twist. This is a series of three movements, three basic movements combined together to relieve the stress around your back and around your shoulders. Most important series and this is one of the series which helps you relieve all the tension around the back, the spine and the abdominal region. This is very relaxing and very soothing provided you do it regularly. Keep your feet together, spread the arm like a capital T. Place the tip of the toe on the knee, take the knee to the opposite direction and the neck to the opposite direction. As you do this, make sure the shoulder doesn't pop up from the ground. Keep the shoulder stuck to the ground. Leave the knee to gravity. Stay in this position for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Then come back slowly. Repeat the same thing with the other leg. Fold the other leg. Place it over the knee. Take the knee towards the opposite direction. The neck towards the other direction. Keep the shoulders stuck to the ground. Stick on to your breath. Stay there for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Then come back. Spread the leg in front. Fold both the legs. Bring the heel close to the hip, it to your glutes, then drop the knee to gravity towards the one side, keeping the feet together one over the other. Keep the shoulder stuck to the ground, neck to the opposite direction. Stick on to your breath, stay there for at least 10 to 12 breaths, then come back. Drop the knee towards the opposite direction, neck towards the another direction. Stick on to your breath, 10 to 12 breaths, keep the shoulders stuck to the ground. Bring the knee close to the chest, raising the feet out of the ground, drop the knee towards one side to gravity, keep the shoulders stuck to the ground, feet one over the other. Stick on to your breath. Stay there. Come back slowly in the same way. Drop the knee towards the other side. Stick on to your breath. Keep the shoulders stuck to the ground. Feet one over the other. Stay there for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Come back slowly, release the leg one by one, spread the leg to the side.
Keep your eyes closed, spread the leg to the side, spread the arm to the side. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen coming up. As you breathe out, feel it going down. Stick on to the breath and relax the whole body. Stay in that position for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Ardhahalasan and Pawan Muktasan series. This is a series which you are going to do close to the wall. This is actually a modified version of what is known as Halasan and Pawan Muktasan. Halasan means the plow pose. The plow pose is the most effective posture in yoga to relieve the tension around the abdominal area. And this is one of the most effective postures to relieve any digestive disorders. Once you speak of Pawan Muktasan, it means to relieve gastric trouble. Pawan Mukt means to relieve gastric trouble. The name itself means so. Keep the leg extended, hips close to the wall. Keep your knees straight with slight spread of the leg. Relieve the tension at the abdomen. Make sure your back is flat. Relax the perineal muscles. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen coming up. As you breathe out, feel the abdomen going in. Stay in this position for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Wonderful posture to relieve any digestive disorders. Slowly fold the leg. Come down to Pavan Muktasan. Fold the leg to the limit that you can stay there with the pressure. Stick on to this position for another 10 to 12 breaths. Make sure you have relieved the tension at the perineum and come down to Shavasana position. Spread the leg to the side, Shavasana. Keep your eyes closed, spread the leg to the side, spread the arm to the side. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen coming up. As you breathe out, feel it going down. Stick on to the breath and relax the whole body. Stay in that position for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Parvatasana. Parvatasana means the mountain posture. This is to imitate the mountain itself. This develops the strength of stillness in you. So this is a posture which transcends you towards a meditative mood very easily. The only thing you should be conscious here is the very minute movements of the arm and your breathing. Keep on sticking on to these two things, just your breathing and the minute movement of your arm. That is more than enough to take you off. Parvatasan, the mountain pose. Sit in Vajrasan with the knee together, arms in front of the chest in Namaste position. Slowly raise the arm up, inch by inch, inch by inch. Be aware of your breathing and the minute movement of your arms. Just stick on to your breath and the minute movement of your arms. Extend the arm completely. Stay in this position, the extended position, for at least five to six breaths. Feel the complete stretch. Do this posture very, very slowly. Bring the arm down in the same reverse order. Bring it close to the chest, back to Namaste position, in front of the chest. Then bring the arm down to Dhyan Mudra, left arm down and the right arm placed one over the other. Keep your eyes closed. Stay there with your breath. Mm -hmm. 
Brahma Mudra. This is a mudra, not an asana. And this is a mudra which indicates the Brahma, the Lord of the creations. He is the creator of the whole universe. Why do we go into this posture? Does it improve your creative capacities? No. It really shuns your unwanted thoughts and it takes you into yourself. This is also a premeditative posture. Here also you are asked to stick on to your breathing and the very, very, very minute movements of your neck. Starting with Dhyan Mudra in Vajrasana, keeping your eyes closed, stick on to your breath, slowly roll your neck to the right, making very minute moves of the neck. Just be aware of the very minute movement of the neck and your breathing. This posture is to indicate the creator of the universe, Lord Brahma. Keep him in your heart and go on with the posture. As you go to the extent of the maximum in the right, stay there for five to six breaths. Then come back slowly to the center. Roll your neck back to the left, inch by inch. Be aware of your breathing and the very, very minute movement of your neck. Just connect your breathing and the neck movement. Stay in the maximum turned position of the neck in the left for at least five to six breathings. Then come back to the center in the same reverse order, very, very slowly. Only thing you should be conscious is your breathing and the minute movement of your neck. Nothing else. As you come to the center, just drop the neck to the back, inch by inch. Drop the neck to the back, inch by inch, sticking on to your breath all through. Just be aware of your breathing and the very minute movement of your neck, nothing else. As you go to the maximum in the backward direction, just stay there for another five to six breaths. Then come back to the center. Just be aware of your breathing and the very minute movement of your neck. As you come to the center, drop the neck down, inch by inch, inch by inch. Just stick on to the minute movement of your neck and your breathing, nothing else. This is a premeditative posture. Make sure your spine is straight. Drop the neck down, 
stay there for five to six breaths stay there stay there stay there just stick on to your breathing nothing else five to six breathings then come back slowly inch by inch as you come to the center just stick on to your breath there keep your eyes closed all through in the hand mudra feel the lightness of your breath Ustrasan or the camel pose. This is to imitate the camel itself. If you have seen the camel, this has got the capacity of storing water for a longer duration. This is what you gain by doing this posture. And this also helps in increasing the flexibility of your back. This is also known as hip extension posture. Make sure you hold the heel and drop the neck back conveniently. If not, you can widen the width of the leg and do it. Sitting in Vajrasana position, slowly come on your knee, spread the leg to the side, slowly roll one arm, hold the heel, roll the other arm, hold the other heel, drop the neck back, push the abdomen in front, Stay there for at least five to six breaths. As you breathe in, feel the expanse of the chest. As you breathe out, feel the dipping down of it. Slowly release one arm. Release the other arm. Come back to Vajrasana position. Keep your eyes closed. In the hand mudra, left arm down, right above. Balasan or a child pose. This is to indicate a child inside the womb of a mother, the tucked position into which it is into. If you see a child inside the mother's womb, it has got nothing to worry about. The same attitude should be here in this posture. Make sure in this posture you relieve the tension around your base, that is your perineum so that you get the fullest relaxation and the benefit of this posture. Starting with Vajrasana position, the arms drop to the side, inhale, extend the spine, exhale, go down, relax the shoulder, relax the perineal muscles, let the forehead touch the ground, stay there for at least five to six breaths. It is more beneficial if you stay for longer duration just stay there. Relax your whole body in this position. Inhale, come back slowly. Keep your eyes closed. Back to Dhyan Mudra. Left arm down, right up. Ramadhutasan or Hanumant posture. Ramadhut is Lord Hanuman himself, the putra of Pavan, who is resembling that of Vayu. If you see, he is such a powerful personality, with such humbleness, he stands in front of Lord Rama. It is the same attitude you have to get as you do this posture. And this is a most effective posture to relax the muscles around your calf, around your calf muscles and the shin bone. And this is also very effective to release the tension around the ankle. Starting from Vajrasana, slowly fold the leg, bring the feet close to the shin bone of the other leg, keep the palm netted, shift the weight in front, 
and place the arm on the knee slightly raise the heel up as you shift the weight stay there for five to six breaths and then come back come back to Vajrasana release the leg do the same with the other leg shift your weight to the other knee putting the whole body weight on it feel the stretch at the calf muscle as you shift forward stay there for five to six breaths then come back slowly release the leg back to Vajrasana Raj Kapotasan. This is a bit complicated posture, no doubt, but this is a wonderful posture to relieve the tension around your glutes, your seat and the inner thigh. This we are going to do with two modifications, one with the table and without the table. Standing close to the table, roll the leg inward, knees pointing in front, heel outside, Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, go down. Shift the weight slightly towards one side so that you can feel the stretch at the glutes. Stay there for at least five to six breaths and then come back slowly. Change the leg, roll the leg from inside, making a V. Shift the weight towards one side. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale and come down. Stay there for five to six breaths. Feel the stretch at the glutes. Come back slowly in the same reverse order. Long sitting position. Slowly draw the leg inward, keep the knee pointed in front, capital V position, bring the leg back, the feet facing upward, place the palm on the knee, push the chest up, keep your spine straight as much as possible, stay there for 5 to 6 breaths, slowly extend the arm in front with an exhalation and stay there for 5 to 6 breaths. Feel the stretch happening at the lateral sides of the thigh and the glutes. Stick on to your breath. Come back slowly. Slowly roll the leg forward. Release the other leg. Fold the leg making a capital V. Knee pointing forward. Roll the front extended leg back, keep the leg extended completely, feet facing up foot, inhale, extend the spine completely, place the arm over the knee, try to keep the spine as erect as possible, exhale, come down, extend the arm in front completely, drop the neck down, stick on to your breathing, stay in each position for at least 5 to 6 breaths. Keep the leg completely extended, knee straight. Come back slowly. Roll the leg forward. Release the other leg. Spread the leg slightly. Drop yourself back. Drop the neck back. Stick on to your breath. Keep your eyes closed and relax. Go Mukhasan. This is to resemble the face of the cow. The knees in front must resemble the face of the cow. The knees must be aligned one over the other. This is also a wonderful posture to relax the lateral sides of the thigh and the glutes. In this posture, initially try to place the arm on the feet and extend the shoulder out. Close your eyes 
try to keep your spine straight and stay there with your breath bring one leg under cross the other leg over make sure the knee is in one line one over the other bring the ankle close to the hip place the palm over the feet close your eyes keep your spine straight close your eyes chin erect stay there for at least five to six breaths and release the leg bring the other leg in cross the other leg over keep the knee in one line feet facing up palm over the feet elbow straight spine straight chin erect stick on to your breath stay there for at least five to six breaths feel the stretch in the lateral areas of the body slowly release the leg one by one bhu naman bhu naman means namaste to the mother earth this is a basic twisting posture helping you to relieve the tension around the spine leg slightly spread placing the arm in the line of the spine twist towards one side bring the body weight down come down to the point where the hip starts popping up from the ground maintain that position for at least 5 to 6 breaths and come back to the center change the arm bring the other arm in the line of the spine drop towards one side maintain that position where the hip starts popping off from the ground stay there for 5 to 6 breaths come back to the center drop yourself back drop the neck back and relax janu shirsasan janu means the knee shiras means the head this is a posture trying to connect the knee and the head as you bend forward you are taking the head towards the knee and holding your feet pulling it as much as possible and stay there for longer duration according to the breathing instruction given to you long sitting position fold one leg keep the feet touching the inner thigh drop the knee to the side inhale extend the spine exhale come down hold the feet or ankle if you're able to hold it pull it closer let the elbow touch the ground for it touch the knee stay there for at least 10 to 12 breaths feel the stretch happening at the thigh the calf muscle and one side of the low back come back slowly in the same reverse order keep the arm close to the ear all through as you raise up and drop the arm down change the leg fold the other leg bring the ankle bring the feet close to the inner thigh inhale extend the arm exhale go down hold the feet or ankle drop the head down let the head touch the knee keep your knee straight all through stay there for 10 to 12 breaths feel the stretch in the whole of the thigh and the calf muscle and one side of the low back inhale come back slowly with the arm close to the ear and drop it slowly down release the leg spread the leg to the side 
drop yourself back drop the neck back close your eyes stick on to your breath and relax uttan kurm and sutta kurm asan uttan kurm means a tortoise which is upstretched and supta kurm means a tortoise which is lying stretched down these both postures are meant for women this is a posture most effective for women during pregnancy and post pregnancy this is a posture which builds in strength around the pelvic region and also helps them to relax the perineal muscles starting from vajrasan the toes together spread the knee to the side completely push the hips slightly forward out of the heel support and slowly raise the arm up inch by inch just be aware of your breathing and the arm movement cross the arm let the opposite arm touch the opposite scapula the shoulder blades keep your spine straight relax the perineal muscles stay there for 10 to 12 breaths then release the arm one by one bring the arm down slowly be aware of your breathing relax the perineal muscles place the arm down extend the arm in front of the body relax the whole pelvic region drop the head down stay there for 10 to 12 breaths come back slowly sit in vajrasana again dhyan mudra keep notice of your breathing and relax badrasana and baddha badrasana badrasan is a meditative posture so your spine your neck and the hip are said to be in one line this is a posture which relaxes the lateral muscles of your body especially the gluteus maximus and the lateral areas of the thigh sitting in long sitting position drag both the feet inside heel pointing towards the perineum hold the feet keep the feet together drop the knee to the side keep your head chin and chest up keep the spine straight this is a meditative posture bring the legs slightly forward hold the toe inhale extend the spine exhale go down as you come down place the elbow on the calf muscle stay there with your breath stay in each position for at least 5 to 6 breaths and come back to the center release the leg shoulder stretch with the help of the chair this is a exercise basically done to increase the flexibility around the shoulder girdle this is a exercise which is a prerequisite for many of the postures in yoga practicing it now initially increases the flexibility around and relieves the stress around the shoulder region sit in long sitting position with the feet slightly spread roll the arm back hold the upper end of the chair roll the other arm and hold the other handle of the chair make sure your spine is straight stay there for at least 10 to 12 breaths 
with your eyes closed then release the arm one by one from vajrasan come on your knee place the heel of the palm on the chair drop the shoulder down relax the perineal muscles and the shoulder it's a wonderful shoulder stretch just stick on to your breath stay there for at least 5 to 6 breaths and then come back slowly tadasana tadasana is to resemble the palm tree as you do the posture you have to extend yourself to the maximum as much as you can the basic thing in any standing posture is to keep your gaze fixed in front and then proceed keep your feet slightly spread gaze in front slowly raise on your toe up and raise the arm very slowly with total awareness on the point you're gazing your breath and the minute movement of the arm extend the arm completely let the palm face each other stay there for at least a minute or 20 to 30 breaths come back slowly in the same reverse order inch by inch inch by inch drop the heel down bring the arm slowly down vrikshasana vriksh means tree this is a posture done with single leg the initial starting must be with the gaze fixed in front as any standing posture is keeping your gaze in front slowly fold one leg place the feet on the inner thigh keep the knee aligned to the shoulder arms in front of the chest slightly tighten the seat muscles so that you can get better balance stay there for at least a minute or 20 to 30 breaths and then slowly drop the arm down with full control and slowly release the leg do the same with the other leg fold the other leg place it on the inner thigh arms in front of the chest the knee aligned to the shoulder stay there for at least 20 breaths slowly drop the arm release the leg natrajasan natraja or lord shiva is said to be the father of yoga natrajasan is to indicate the dancing posture of shiva this is a posture tending to increasing the balancing ability of you keeping your gaze in front raise one arm up to the shoulder level fold the other leg hold it with the palm on the ankle raise the knee up stay there single leg balancing slowly drop the arm down hold the leg back let there be a stretch happening at the quadriceps and then release the leg do the same with the other leg arms pointed forward fold one leg hold the ankle raise the knee up stay there for at least 20 breaths slowly bring the ankle close to the glutes drop the knee hold it so that the quadriceps is stretched release the leg ardha chandrasan or half crescent moon 
posture. This is a posture which is tended to increase the flexibility around the inner thigh and the quadriceps. Kneeling down position, place the leg in front of the knee, the front leg knee not exceeding the toe, push the hip forward, raise the arm up, making an arch at the spine, drop the neck back, stay there, come back slowly, do the same with the other leg, let the knee not exceed the toe, push the hip forward, raise the arm up, stay there for at least five to six breaths, Feel the stretch happening, the quadriceps, come back slowly. Pada Hastasan. Padam means the feet, hast means the palm. Once you connect these two by doing this posture, this is known as Pada Hastasan. Feet together. Inhale, extend the arm up, extend the spine. Exhale, open the spine. Go down slowly. Hold the feet at ankle. Pull it slightly. Let the head touch the knee. Stay there for at least 10 to 12 breaths. Feel the stretch happening in the leg. Slowly raise the arm up with an inhalation. Extend the arm completely. Bring the arm down slowly. Chakrasana to the side. This is one of the basic sideward bending posture. The whole posture is to be done very slowly and with full consciousness of your breathing and the minute movement of your arm. Keep the feet spread more than the hip socket distance, toes pointing forward and slowly raise one arm up inch by inch, inch by inch. As it comes to the shoulder level, turn the palm, bring it close to the ear, inhale, extend the arm and glide towards one side. Let the other palm be touching the lateral side of the other leg. Stay there for at least five to six breaths. Come back slowly. Slowly bring back the arm. Inch by inch, inch by inch. As it comes to the shoulder level, turn the palm. Bring it down. Slowly raise the other arm, inch by inch, inch by inch. Always be aware of your breathing and the minute movement of your arm. Inhale, extend the arm up as it comes close to the ear and glide towards the other side. Let the other palm be touching the lateral side of the thigh. Stay there for five to six breaths. Come back slowly. Come back in the same reverse order. Inch by inch, inch by inch. As it comes to the shoulder level, turn the palm. Bring it down. Trikon asan to the chair. This posture is basically known as Trikonasan. Trikon means a triangle. Trikonasan with the aid of a chair. The basic focus here is only on stretching the calf muscle and the hamstrings. Toes pointing forward, shoulders aligned, back feet adjusted to 70 degrees. Exhale, go down, hold the chair. 
slowly shift your weight forward by raising the heel up of the back feet keep the front leg straight and the back leg straight all through maintain this position for five to six breaths come back slowly Do the same with the other leg, toes pointing forward, shoulders aligned, back feet aligned to 70 degrees, exhale, hold the chair as you bend forward and shift in front, come on the tip of the toe, stay there for at least 5 to 6 breaths, the total weight on the front leg, make sure you don't bend the knee, come back slowly. Pointing forward. Lie down on your back with your palm spread to the side, with the legs spread to the side. Just stick on to your breathing. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen coming up. As you breathe out, feel the abdomen going down. Just stick on to this movement. Be aware of the air coming in. Feel the navel region coming up. Be aware of the air going out. Feel the navel region going down. Slowly bring your awareness to your whole face. Pranayama. This is to increase the pranic flow inside you and to make you a reservoir of much cosmic energy inside you. First we start with basic breathing exercise or abdominal breathing. Place the arm one on the navel region, one on the rib gauge and be conscious of the air coming in and as the air comes in feel the abdomen blotting in front and as you exhale feel the abdomen going down. Just be conscious of this moment and make sure in all pranayamic exercises you keep your eyes closed. This is Swastikasana. Place one arm on the navel region, one on the beginning of the floating ribs, the rib gauge. Keep awareness of your breathing in totality. As you breathe in, feel the abdominal region coming up and the rib gauge coming up. As you exhale, feel the abdomen going in and the rib cage going in. Just be conscious of this moment all through. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen coming up, the rib cage coming up, and as you exhale, feel the abdomen going down and the rib cage going down. Be completely merged with your breathing. Nadi Shuddhi. Nadi Shuddhi means to cleanse the Nadis. What are Nadis? Nadis are nothing but the network of pranic flow inside you. This is the channel through which the prana flows inside you. By practicing this Nadi Shuddhi, we are cleansing the Nadis, thereby allowing the pranic flow inside you more freely than it was before. Fold the middle finger and the index finger, keeping the thumb open and the other two fingers open. 
This is Pran Mudra. Close the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left nostril with the other two fingers and exhale through the right. Then again inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left. Repeat this again and again. During this practice, keep your total awareness on your breathing, on the air you're breathing in and out, nothing else. Keep the other arm resting in chin mudra with the palm facing the sky, placed on the knee with the thumb and the index finger together. This is Chin Mudra. Close the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left nostril with the other two fingers and exhale through the right. Then again inhale through the right nostril, close the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left. Repeat this again and again. During this practice, keep your total awareness on your breathing on the air you're breathing in and out during this practice keep your total awareness on your breathing on the air you're breathing in and out nothing else Close the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left nostril with the other two fingers and exhale through the right. Then again inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left. Repeat this again and again. During this practice, keep your total awareness on your breathing, on the air you're breathing in and out. During this practice, keep your total awareness on your breathing, on the air you're breathing in and out, nothing else. Close the right nostril with the thumb, inhale through the left, close the left nostril with the other two fingers and exhale through the right. Then again inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left. Repeat this again and again. During this practice Keep your total awareness on your breathing, on the air you're breathing in and out, nothing else. During this practice, 
keep your total awareness on your breathing on the air you're breathing in and out Om meditation a direct process of calming the mind in this we are going to stick on to the vibrations of the sound as you chant om give equal gap for expressing o and m after chanting that there is a silence pause in the silence pause just feel the sound vibrations settling down in you om om Shanti Shanti Shanti